I think over time you become more comfortable feeling uncomfortable with exercise. Right. Because it's a learned feeling. What I will say is wrong about no pain, no gain, though, is that some people take it to an extreme. You don't have to practically kill yourself every time you exercise. And in general, that could backfire as well. I'm not well versed in like the cardiovascular uh, training programming, like how you actually train to improve cardiovascular exercise, uh, cardiovascular function. But when it comes to strength training, there's this there's this principle of like training sub maximally, just meaning training slightly below maximal intensity. Maximal intensity would be like going as hard as possible every single time. If you're doing a push up until you can't do another one every single time. And the issue is that when you do that, it prevents you from doing a large amount of exercise because you're fatigued, right? If you right. go really hard, you're not going to be able to do as much. And we know that intensity, which is how hard you go, is important, but volume, how much you do, is also important. So if you do the intensity so high that your volume is like really low because you can't recover from that and it's just very, very difficult, that also is not ideal. So that would be like too much pain, which is in some ways um, negatively impacting your ability to gain, right? Got it. 